To encourage knee flexion after initial contact, dorsiflexion of the foot and 12 to 14 degrees of socket flexion were historically recommended, but that is considered excessive by current standards. Most transtibial prostheses have approximately 5 to 7 degrees of socket flexion. During stance phase, in an individual with a transtibial amputation, there is significantly greater demand on the quadriceps to control the knee compared to the non-amputee, both in terms of magnitude and timing. The function is to control the progression of the prosthetic tibia. Shown are the averaged EMG patterns of 10 subjects wearing flexfoot, satch, and Seattle light feet compared to that of non-amputees of the same age. The graphs demonstrate the engagement of the vastus lateralis, typical of quadriceps activity. Note the significant difference between all feet and that on the non-amputee. The typical dysvascular and diabetic individual with an amputation cannot tolerate the same degree of dorsiflexion and socket flexion appropriate for the individual with a traumatic amputation. This is a common occurrence among early post-operative amputees as well as deconditioned amputees. The typical clinical observation is slow progression throughout stance phase. The knee may be seen trembling or hesitant as the individual advances over the foot. The problem can sometimes be addressed by reducing the degree of dorsiflexion and anterior translation of the socket over the foot. When the quads are unduly challenged, the individual may attempt to compensate by leaning forward in a quad avoidance posture. By doing so, the ground reaction force shifts anterior to the knee and, with the passage of time, may stretch the hamstrings, tendons, and posterior capsule, resulting in hyperextension.